So now we're testing the hose for HomeKit on the Apple TV. Here is now a U-Light, Philips U-Light lamp connected already. And here is a hub for it and it's already connected as you can see. It's a giant light. It's already paired to the Apple TV and to make sure it's already paired we can check here and see in the AirPlay and HomeKit that it's my home and it's connected and also we can test it with the Siri like so like maybe turn on living room light okay turn off living room lights let's first put it away a little bit so it will not affect the screen show so maybe i can put it here you can notice it also although it's in the side so let's see how it works in the home kit that's it on the house home kit for the home kit now i will not log to my old home i don't want to ruin it so i will create a new home and i call it new home okay here it is then i log into it this home have four rooms and each room have six zones i can increase the amount of rooms from the settings but now that's what i have in the first room which is room zero zone zero i need first to put background or wallpaper I will check it from the library or from the device. Let's select it from the library, which is preset photos already. But you can take any photos that you wish, and even you can put layers of photos over each other if it's transparent. So let's say this one is fine, maybe. Okay, even I can rename it, whatever I wish. Mm, living room. Okay. So after I put the wallpaper, now I'll go to the edit mode. Here is the edit mode, the second one. I open the edit mode and then I choose where should I put my lamp, my light. So suppose that my light is that one up, up here. So I put it here and I can adjust it by tilting the remote as you can see. I tilt it up and go up. Tilt it down and go down. When I'm satisfied with the position of that button, I will choose what to assign to this button. So I go now to the home, which is down here, that black screen, the back, back button. And I press it and I found now two devices, Hue Living and Hue Bed. This is a Hue Living room, which I took it from the ceiling to make this test for you. I choose it, that's all. So I make that correct switch on, and that's it, it's already there. But I can change the light a little bit to make it look like a yellow light because this is uh, this bulb actually it's rounded a little bit it's not like the old style of hue so here it is and that's it sorry I return back to the room yes that's it so now after a while it will detect from the cloud the status of this light which is already no as you can see it here okay I don't know if you can see like that no and it's not turned on simply I'll try to turn it on I'll go to it and I click it and here is the list of it I can put power state on and see it's already on and then I can change the brightness by hold and click I can hold and click to go down and the brightness hold and click again to go up So I make it 55% that's okay and then I close see after a while you're gonna find it reflects already the status of the ad here it is okay so now you can see that it is on now I can control it to make it on and off from any other hardware switch or even from the Siri now since I don't have any hardware switches compatible with Hue 
So I will use the Siri now to turn it off and you see the reflection on the monitoring because this is monitoring and control. Turn off living room lights. See? Turn on living room lights. Okay. When I'm satisfied with this, I simply I can make a preset. This one is yes, and 55% is I can make it 40. Uh, yes, whatever I wish, maybe 37%. Um, and I want to save maybe this preset. Of course, I can save the whole room presets with all the devices in it at the same time in four switches which is give me a scenes, I call it scenes. So I can record this scene here and I choose where should I record it. So maybe I should to record it on that blue one. That's all. If I turn it off now and make another scene, like off, okay, close it. And so I can also record it like this in the red one. So the red, Turn it off the blue, turn it on to 37 percentage. And so I can make a third scene by clicking here, make it on to maybe 100 percentage or something like that. Okay, maybe so. I will take also the this preset as a green button. So if I want to recall any of these presets, maybe I'll start maybe with that red one. It will return back to what state recorded there, which is with off. And here is the green 100 percentage and the blue 50 percentage. You can see even the color dif differentiate here. If it's having color already, that gray dot beside it is going to take the color of that hue, but my hue is not, doesn't have a color. This thing I can add it for as many rooms that I wish. I have 36 switches per room. So with infinity yeah, amount of rooms and six zones for each room. So I can make a full control like a small BMS for HomeKit. And also from the plugins as here, as I can see, let's first turn off to make sure that we can see well now. Okay, here in these plugins, the person can buy any other protocol to add it to the home kit. So we can mix between BACnet and KNX and TCI, PIP, Digital Storm, whatever you wish, all in the same room. And all can be also saved in a presets. And these presets, by the way, can be controlled for iPhone, Apple TV, and also for the Apple Watch. Thank you very much.